What's up guys, today we're going to do a quick analysis of Starbucks because I saw Daniel Poronk say that it's undervalued, so I wanted to do my own analysis and see if he is correct. So, and I, I, I will provide you guys with another perspective on this stock as well. So, we're looking at a five-year chart here. They are only up 22% in the past five years. I do think that the reason why is because they were like extremely overpriced. Um, like five years ago, but now that they haven't really grown all that much in price, maybe they are a better deal these days. They are a $103 billion company, uh, absolutely massive company, especially for a coffee chain. Uh, their price to earnings ratio is 24 and they do pay a dividend. Let's check their financials. Checking out their financial statement, they went from 22 billion up to 36 billion in six years. That is very good growth. I would say like 10% every single year in revenue growth, which is always good to see. Their last quarter, they were only up 8%. Maybe that's what the market is scared of. We're looking at their net income. Their net income is pretty solid, 4 billion compared to 35 billion in revenue. That is like 10 or 11% in net income. Uh, they also have been buying back shares. Their share count is decreasing. Their balance sheet, they have a lot of debt. So that's something that we might want to be concerned about. 21 billion in debt is kind of a lot. Cash flow. Cash flow is going to follow their earnings very closely. Um, 3 billion. In terms of their buybacks, they did they only did one billion last year, and they did about their yeah they did like one point two billion in last quarter, so they're starting up buybacks again basically. Um, that may indicate that they aren't undervalued at this point, and they paid two point four billion in dividends. Checking out their stats, let's check their margins really quick. Their ROIC is like thirty four percent or like 25%, which is really, really good to see. And the operating margin is going to be around like 15%, and that margin is going to be about like 10 to 12% most years. Uh, I have the analyst estimates pulled up here on Yahoo Finance, and the average estimate for this year is 406, and for next year is 472 for their earnings per share. And then the revenue estimate is 38.8 billion going up to 42.57. Seems like it, there is pretty much a consensus among the analysts. There is not much of a difference in the low and high estimate. So I would say that this is going to be very accurate. The sales growth being up going up to 42 billion is plus 10%. So actually really good growth still. Um, the thing about Starbucks is Starbucks really has a great moat. Um, people are addicted to Starbucks. They go back every single day. And yeah, I do think it's a quality company. So we're looking at the the uh, discounted cash flow model. And let me take you through this here. I put the EPS estimate up here, the revenue estimate here. Um, I put the buybacks or like estimated buybacks. Maybe they'll do 4 billion um, for next year, but uh, I just put 2 billion there. Net debt of 20 billion, uh, so we are accounting for debt in this model. X and multiple 22, I really think that's fair for this business. It is a high quality company, and uh, I think that they're going to be able to continue growth well, well into the future, like even past 2030. And discount rate of 10%, because I want a 10% return on all my stocks. And we put earnings growth of 10%. In this case, then. Their fair share price is about $90, and with them trading at 91, then they are a buy at this point. Well, they're like fair value at this point, and you'll probably expect a 10% return according to this earnings model. And according to the discounted revenue model, we'll say a 10% growth in revenue and probably declining from there to 8%, and profit margin of 10%. It's definitely possible that they can get this profit margin up to 15%. They do have pricing power, so I would not be surprised. Um, if this scenario plays out, then we're looking at between 66 and 85. Not a lot of downside, to be honest, but uh, 
there's po it's possible also possible that they grow um more than eight percent well okay i think eight percent is fair but maybe they grow their margins um just because maybe they increase their prices a little bit and their margins improve up to like 12 percent and if their margins improve up to 12 percent which i think could definitely happen um, then their fair share price it's about 83 to 101 so probably about 90 about where they're trading right now yeah i really think that if you bought them today um you'd really be expecting about a 10 percent return uh nothing like amazing or anything or and it's definitely a fair bet uh because starbucks has such a wide moat being with their branding and they are addicting so they and they definitely cater to the like uh i don't know maybe like the middle class well i guess they just cater to coffee drinkers really um people that want a good coffee so yeah if you guys have any questions make sure to leave them in the comments also i let you guys use this spreadsheet for free just click the link in the description and you can try your own numbers out maybe you think they're going to grow more than this and maybe you'll come up with a different fair value. You can also use it for different companies. You just have to change the yellow boxes. And yeah, hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video.